So what's your boy tell him? Y'all already know what the fuck this is. Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Welcome to Splitting Lemons with Mumble Mumbling. With Soulja um, Boy Tella. <laughs> Can you imagine Soulja Boy was on here? Don't he like K-pop? What? Say he like anime. <laughs> he does like anime. I don't know about K-pop, but I mean, anime is a gateway drug. It is. Why don't you start like in that Asian shit? That's why your parents yeah, like, won't let you listen to it. Eating Pocky and shit. Oh, God. And high chews. It's in nya. <laughs> oh, that's embarrassing. Oh, Lord. I never actually had that face. Thank God. If I did, I'm so glad that I wasn't on the internet. Because that would have that Oh, God. Hey, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> okay, go on. How Y'all know what this is. This is Splitting Lemons. My name is Kyra Channon. I don't know who that is. My name is Shannon. <laughs> Got two first names. I'm Gerald. And this is Splitting Lemons. Let's split some lemons. How are y'all doing this week? Hopefully y'all are doing well as you. Oh, yeah. Uh, uh, Taylor, how are you doing this week? Real quick. I'm fine. That's good. The, the week just started. Yeah, how are you? How Unless are you we do week? it like last week. How are you? How have you been since the last time we got together? Can y'all, I'm fine. I'm I, like, every time. Can y'all hear us? Go on. <laughs> I went to Georgia this weekend mm-hmm. for like a day because my sister was going back to school, so we had to drive her car down there. Mm-hmm. And it was cold down there. I was pretty mad about it, but there wasn't no snow, so that was great. Mm-hmm. And you're not a my... snow guy. No, not ever. Not ever. Don't touch me with not that even shit. once. <laughs> <laughs> not even once. <laughs> um. Yeah. So we did that, and I was down there. I saw some family. That was cool. And then. I almost missed my flight because my sister went to an exercise yeah. class and I had to watch her dog and she didn't come back and I didn't want to just leave her dog there and I just shit on the floor like <laughs> True it was a whole thing and then I get to the airport they was like you know you gotta take a train right I was like what you mean it's a train a whole the train it's a train in the fucking Atlanta airport that's wild it's big as fuck we got any Atlanta people out there y'all ever taken that train at the airport <laughs> <laughs> what do y'all think of it <laughs> It's like, you know what? I feel as if I have been on one when I went to New Mexico to go visit Julia. Shout out to Julia and her mom. Love you guys. And there was a fucking train. I think I think I was on one. I hope it wasn't a dream. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> I feel as if I got on one. Was, this shit is crazy. And somebody was doing something weird. They was It was somebody weird eating was- yogurt. On, on the train, it was weird. It sounds like a TV show. It does, but no. This was in the airport. Yeah, like I think to get to yes, uh, I don't remember which train, which um station it was, but it was fucking huge. Yeah, word. I got on the train. True life. I rode a train on the plane. <laughs> <laughs> I rode a train to the plane. True life. Oh, go on. Um. Yeah, that was it. I was in the airport. I was doing mm-hmm. shit. Oh my god, y'all. So I was with Spirit Airlines, right? Mm-hmm. But I didn't want to choose my seat. It was just like, pick a random seat. So I didn't know where my fucking seat was. Mm-hmm. And I looked at my little boarding pass and it was like, check at the gate. I didn't check at the gate. <laughs> I just got on the plane. And then I was like, fuck, where do I sit? So I just went into the back somewhere and was like, this looks, this <laughs> this looks nice. good. <laughs> Did anybody check you? No. Hey. Nobody asked me anything. People kept coming back and I was like, ooh, don't look at my seat. <laughs> this is your seat. Just don't look at me. So every time somebody came, I was like looking at the corner of my eye, like, please don't look at me. And nobody did so i had sat there with my koya and i went to fucking sleep transportation jesus had you man he said at the last moment look the way the last I was hour delivered <laughs> to your destination i was oh, that's good that's good anyway yeah what did you do uh nothing took care of my mom she's not feeling all that well she's sick right now but that's about it Ooh, got into art did some more art stuff Working on art things, y'all. I'm an artiste. That's it. That's literally it. <laughs> All right. I think I had some soup. No, I didn't. I had some really, good, <laughs> I had some really good tea though. Oh, good. It's a hot liquid. I don't know. 
<laughs> That's it. Go on. <laughs> like, I don't know. Um, all right, we're guys, we're gonna get into it. Mm-hmm. Uh, follow ups first. A Pink got another bomb threat. I saw. I was like, "What the fuck?" Yeah. So they had to cancel their shit again. Next, there was another one, right? Oh yeah. Uh, Solti from Exit, she's getting surgery for yeah. orbital decompression. Mm-hmm. Um, they haven't decided anything about her return, and they said they'll make a decision after they check on her recovery. I hope she's okay. I miss my girls altogether. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, that's all the follow-ups I have. Mm-hmm. So now on to the new shit. New shit! Uh, first, Woo! Queen CL is going to be in a movie called Mile 22. Ah, what? Yes. She does My Little Pony and... <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. That's really awesome. I don't know when it's coming out. It's still in production or whatever. Also, real quick, hopefully you guys don't hear that space shit right now. We don't have headphones, so we don't know what you guys are actually hearing. Sometimes car computer be making some crazy noises. It be like, doing like scary. robot stuff. But you know what's funny? It didn't start... This is what I did this weekend. True life. McAfee fucked up my computer. <laughs> my mom put on like that McAfee like spyware shit and all of a sudden it'd be like, like antivirus shit. Yeah, it'd be like yeah. and I'd yeah, be like, you put a robot weird. on my computer. <laughs> go, a robot on my computer. Okay, go on. Um, Next, Amber uh, for, of FX. She's giving a lecture at UC Riverside on oh January 17th. I need to be there. Number, reason number like 57,000 A, B, C. Look, <laughs> we should be in California. I want to see her. I want to hear her speak to me. She can say just the alphabet and I'd be like, <laughs> damn, never thought about it that way. <laughs> uh, next, start singing. <clears throat> Sorry, I was gonna do it real southern. In the arms of Oh my god, speaking of country, you know, you know Kim. There's a lot of Kims. K E M. Kayla used to sing him because he used to sing. Oh, yes, yes, uh huh. Wouldn't he make a great country singer? He would! <laughs> <laughs> What's that one song he be singing? She's singing all the time. It's fucking, um. It's I not- used to make fun of it. Yes, exactly. <laughs> I used to change the words. What was it? Oh um, my god, it'll come back. I'm gonna start singing Sarah McLaughlin. Right. If you remember, you say it. Okay. <clears throat> In the arms of the angel. Alright, so first. I wear you from here. Jay Sook of Golden Child is leaving the group to focus on his health. Cold hotel room. I hope he's okay. <laughs> and the listens that you fear. Um, you are and cold then next. from the wrecking. Of your silent revenue. Oh, this isn't a song, but I know this one. This one is I can't stop, stop. stop. you <laughs> or love calls. I thought you were gonna do I can't stop. <laughs> what? What is do you that? You remember that? You don't remember that? Y'all know that song. I can't stop. Ah, ah, ah. No. It like fades off. All right, I'm gonna find it for you. Are you looking at the oh, camera? Sh- yes, yes, I am. <laughs> I guess I wish I could Something remember. Something girl. Something yes. <laughs> what is it? <laughs> Y'all know Kim it was. Oh my god. Yeah, it, it is was some girl. Like, I, fuck. Oh god. Can't. Oh my god. Better than you, girl. That I used is? to be like. Oh my god. Do you have? We gotta call Kim. <laughs> call her right now. <laughs> Do you have any other um thingies? Yes, I do. I'm gonna look up the song while you go. Okay. This is about Tiara. You are pulled from the wreckage um, of your silent You're so loud. Me. You're like drowning me oh, out. Damn. <laughs> uh, Tiara left their company, MBK. All four of them. Mm-hmm. Um, they're leaving as a group. Yes. Um, but apparently it was reported that the company MBK, um applied to register a trademark on their name. Yeah, I heard which that. Which basically means that if they're approved for it, they can't use the name Tiara. So it'll basically be like what happened with Beast slash Highlight. Mm-hmm. Um, Highlight. And they also, if they um, if they want to perform any songs that mm-hmm. are under Tiara, they'll have to pay royalties to MBK. Damn. Yeah. Um, Those are their... That's so sad. Yeah. So it's not definite that um, that it's going to be approved, but that's what they're facing if it if it happens. Um, let's see. That's all of that. Next. 
What do we got? Okay. Um, there is an event in London called Ooh. K-pop Night. What? And the there's gonna be it's like a concert, like a like a festival almost. Mm-hmm. Uh, Masa X, Tahiti, seven o'clock, which I've never heard of them before, and then mm-hmm. seven. You know, they no digital bounce. <laughs> That's digital crazy. Sound. Do y'all know who Seven is? Do y'all remember him? Great. <laughs> <laughs> That's good to know. <laughs> um, next, fucking uh, you remember Black Nut? Yeah, his fucking ass. Yeah. So he was apparently formally indicted for defamation. Aha. Uh-huh. Because. He used to be I saying shit. Either, I don't know if this was two separate songs, but definitely in one song, he uh, was rapping about Kitty B, mm-hmm. talking about... I know she was going to take him. Oh, yeah, yeah, so she sued him. Good. And now he's been indicted for defamation. Mm. That's what happens. You think you say any old shit about somebody in a song? Kitty if y'all B don't know what happened, he's, in one song he said, he basically was like, I bust, I get off on Kitty B's photos. And another one, he was like, it says, not Kitty B this time. I won't fuck her even if you give it to me. See, he's got a long record of very shit. Like, very. He be doing, like, the most for shock value, mm-hmm. and he takes it too far. And it's been like that since he's, like. Yeah. It was Forever. like, show me the money, mm-hmm. right? Yeah. yeah. It's embarrassing. Yeah. Um, next, this is not a BTS podcast. Hey, girl. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) That's what it is. What were the other words, though? It says, hey, girl, I promise you, yes, I do, yeah. I don't know if it's the song, but I saw Hey Girl, and I was like, that's, <laughs> that's it. That is what it was, though. <laughs> hey, girl, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Oh, I good times. Like, I was in school. She used to talk about how that song used to come on on the floor all the time. <laughs> so whenever we would get together, she would just be fucking singing that shit. Oh, man, what was it? It's going to bother me because I used to make fun of it all the time. I'm going to keep looking. Go. Keep going. All right. Next. Um, oh, yeah. BTS. Not mm-hmm. a BTS podcast. But. And yet, um, My Drop Remix has beat their previous record for being on the Hot 100 chart. Previously, DNA was up there for four weeks. Mm-hmm. But now, the My Drop Remix is up there for five mm-hmm. weeks. <laughs> um. They're also still charting on other shit. So the Love Yourself Her album is has been on the uh, Billboard 200 chart for 12 weeks. Um, and apparently it's, it's rising in the chart mm-hmm. again. Probably because of um, New Year's, I reckon. Yeah. Um, and then they still have the number one spot for world albums. And they are the number one artist for Social 50. They're really like, this. I guess this is their lifetime. We're just living in it. This is their era. Their millennium. Their good timeline. I'm glad to be here. <laughs> You're right. I am I am glad I'm part of this timeline. I mean, there's a lot of fucked up things. A lot of them. A lot of fucked up shit going on in the timeline. It can't be a perfect timeline. No, it can't be. Because Wonder Girls isn't here. But, <laughs> by the way, don't forget to go buy Reboot on iTunes. Taylor did it for me and I got that bitch. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just like really pretty. Thank you. Go Speaking on. of gifts, Jaleesa brought me her her final gift to me. Mm-hmm. Do you know what it is? What? It's a body pillow. Who's on it? Who's on it? <laughs> do I want to tell you or do we want to have our, our lemons guess who's on it? I don't know. I want to know. I'll who's tell good? you after the thing. Okay. I'll tell you after the broadcast. Lemons, try to guess who's on my my brand new body pillow. It is someone I've talked about before. That's... Write it down for me. Okay, where's it been? Uh, go on, just keep reading. I'm okay. find it. Mm-hmm. Um, next, uh, mm-hmm. we're talking about charts and shit. Apparently, Winner is the first male idol group to achieve a uh, hundred million streams for 2017, I believe. Um, the other people. But this is like male idol group. Uh-huh. Um, the other people that have gotten 100 million streams were like 
Ed Sheeran, Shape of You, Crush what? Beautiful, Twice Knock Knock, Bubblegum Four, Tell Me You Love Me, <laughs> IU Through the Night and Palette, Yoon Jung Sheen's Like It, Hazes, You Clouds, Rain, and Ailey's I Will Go to You Like the First Snow. That is such a full name. Uh, yes. So, Really Really is the first idol track of 2017. That's fucking that. awesome. That's really, really awesome. Uh, let me just... Did you, fade, did you find it? No. I I'm can't find so it. so sad. Look. <gasps> what? Yeah. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. Um, next. <laughs> Weirdest number Hey, 11. girl. Okay. Yeah. Um, so, next, Lee Soo Min, Kim, I can't even read my own handwriting, Bo Wan, and Lee Soo Jin of Fave Entertainment, they were all on, uh, Mix 9, mm-hmm. they were in a car accident, um, Soo Min and Bo Wan, they both got minor injuries, but they're fine, mm-hmm. uh, Soo Jin had more serious injuries, and she had to drop out of Mix 9. Oh my god. So keep her in your thoughts. Jesus, that's so scary. Yeah. Next. Oh, poor baby. I hope she's okay. Next. Um, there's some beef. I found it. What is nobody? It? Is that the song? She be like nobody, nobody. Let me see the lyrics. Okay. I'm gonna plug us real quick. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share this video with all of your friends if you would like. Um, tell us what you think below. Any? What's your favorite Kim song? If you know them. Um. <laughs> Yeah. What's your thoughts on anything that we've talked about? Any questions that y'all have? Oh, don't forget to go to the description box below also to follow everybody on social media. I don't that think means this is it. That's not it? I don't think so. I thought so. she was saying something about nobody. Don't because- forget to um follow that means follow Taylor, follow Kiana, Kayla, me on our social medias. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yes. We'll come back to it. We have to come back to it. Okay. Go on, go on, go on. There's some beef between, I don't know, I guess you want to say, I don't know if it's, like, one company, or if you want to say, like, it's, like, two companies. So, basically, um, Fantagio, I hope that's mm-hmm. how you pronounce it, that's how it's spelled, um, they are a company that holds artists, like, uh, they have- Nobody like you? Yeah, girl. Girl, hey, girl. Yes! yes. That's it, that's it, I yes. used to be, like, nobody likes you. <laughs> Sorry, everybody. Oh, Finally God. got the song. Thank you. Oh, it's so satisfactory. Right? Um, okay, so they have... What's wrong? No. Okay. Um, mm-hmm. They have artists like Hello Venus, Astro, and Wecky Mecky. Mm-hmm. I assume that's how you say their group. Um, I think so. But anyway, um, they're talking about going on strike because... So they have um a... A shareholder mm-hmm. who owns like they basically own like fifty percent of the company. Mm-hmm. Um, they're called the JC Group, and they're a Chinese company. Mm-hmm. The JC Group fired the the Korean CEO mm-hmm. of Fantagio um, because they said that they were spending more money than they were making. Mm-hmm. So they're basically like, "You suck, get out of here." Um, but Fantagio is saying that JC Group is garbage. Mm-hmm. <laughs> they said that they're like leaking money to Hong Kong. What? And um they said that they're draining company funds. For no reason. Uh-huh. Yeah, they're talking about the JC Group took away the company credit cards, which the which were like the artists and the managers used to like take mm-hmm. care of the artists. Um, so what the fuck is going on? Yeah, and then they also said that um oh yeah, so what they want they want the JC group to stop doing that shit mm-hmm. and to bring the Korean CEO back. Mm-hmm. Um, but they haven't said anything yet. Um, so far, Weki uh their comeback has been delayed. And a lot of people are worried because I think last week or the week before, we talked about Astro is supposed to be going on tour mm-hmm. here and in Canada. So it's like, if that's not going to get fixed, it's likely that they'll either... Uh, delay that as well or just straight cancel it so a lot of people are worried i hope the artists are okay yeah that can't be anything easy to go through at all right um next we got joe kwan 
Joe Kwan. He was named the honorary ambassador of the DDM Seed Bank. It's an organization that aids children of low income households become wow. independent as they grow older and enter society by helping cover expenses related to t- tuition, housing, medical care, technical career training, marriage, and other life activities. He's a. Am- I love you, Joe Kwan, if you're out there. <laughs> I love him. I'm so ready for this comeback. Y'all have no idea. The fucking high heel. Oh, I've loved Joe Kwan for like years. The stilette? Look! Oh, he's so amazing. Like, he's literally just so great. And I love him. That's... That's my Joe Kwan. Go on. <laughs> Next, not to be a BTS podcast again, but... but let's talk about Hicks tape. I was thinking about, I know it's not Hicks tape, but like Cypher 4, his part is like my favorite oh, part. Go okay. on. Mm-hmm. A certain Jung Hosek on January 8th, 2018 at 1758 p.m. <laughs> he said, soon, really soon. Baby, what does soon mean? Music note emoji. When does, what does soon mean? And they've been real quiet, you guys. Like, you, like y'all like you know, there's always somebody posting something. Nam June posting music I've been listening to. Or dressing like a minion and posting pictures of it. Or Taehyung being cute with his dog. We haven't seen none of that. We have. We have, but not enough of it. <laughs> <laughs> they've definitely been... Suspiciously things, quiet for them. Things are leading up. And now we have this message of soon. Are you ready? All I'm gonna say is, Shannon, are you ready? I've been ready. I've been clenched. I've been, <laughs> I've been, had my book bag packed. Y'all already know. Like, if you've listened for a while, you know that I've had my book bag packed for a while. I mean, it's cold outside. I don't like the snow, but I'm gonna figure this out. <laughs> I got an insulated jacket. I got one of them long black K-pop jackets. I can do it. You the got a puffy, puffy jacket. jacket. <laughs> I got a puffy jacket too. Yes. I was in the fucking airport with my puffy jacket. I was like, wow, where did my airport pick? Like, <laughs> right, look. Just, um, oh, man. Yeah, so be on the lookout for that. Not to stress you out, but... It's coming, y'all. It very much is. And don't at me on Twitter. At Kyra- but do follow me on Twitter. <laughs> and don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. At follow me on, on Twitter. Twitter definitely. Um, I'm speaking deleted. of Twitter, let's talk about this story, right? Yeah. So, y'all, y'all know I don't fuck with the robot, right? <laughs> I forgot, yeah. Y'all know I don't fuck with the robot. We've talked about it, like, three episodes yeah. in a row. Wow, Justin we have, Tim- yeah. Yeah. That's- Justin Timberlake mm-hmm. put out a new music, right? It's called, it's like, Filthy, Flirty, something. Dirty, sexy, dirty, dirty. We're not talking dirty. about beef. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> He's a robot. He, anyway, he exploded, lie. bitch. He's a robot. <laughs> he jumped in the air and exploded. <laughs> anyway, so in the music video of Justin's song, there's a fucking robot. And this like he like comes onto the scene like a minute in and I was like, oh, nope, I can't do it. I don't want to look at him. Jaleesa, bless her heart, watched the whole thing. She said it made her uncomfortable. <laughs> but anyway, so I go on the Twitter.com and I was like, I can't fuck with this. Can I can't fuck talk with about the your hatred of robots. Yes. That's where you do it at. Oh, oh my god. Hello. Everything should still be fine. Yes. We hope. <laughs> right. Um watch us in a deep voice now. <laughs> <laughs> um, so tell me why another fucking Twitter that was like Justin Tempered likes robot. Like it was literally like at JT Robot. And then it was tweet at me. It was like L O L K. I was like, excuse me? Like Justin Timberlake, like, come get your man. I can't fuck with this robot shit. And y'all really gonna come out here and at me? That's just so funny. Like it was funny, but it also wasn't funny because I was minding my own business at work, like going on. I already Ooh. moved on past the robot scenario the disgust, and then here he come in my ads, in my <laughs> DMs talk about some LOL, okay. okay. <laughs> like, what the fuck? You better get... That's the funniest shit. This is the start of the robot takeover. They know we're, we're, they know we're talking. They're listening. And they're saving your IP addresses, everybody. <sighs> hey, robots, if you're out there, hey, girl, beep, 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 or... <laughs> <laughs> beep, beep, boop, beep, bop. <laughs> Sorry, Kibo, zero I love one, you. Zero, zero, one, bitch. Stop. What did you just say? <laughs> that's a real code, y'all. That, that's real words. It's binary. 
Anyway, we're moving Go right on. along. I have my last story of the day. This is about bacon. Oh, uh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Go on. So, there's been a lot of, I don't know, it was like a bunch of turmoil. And I feel like it happened so long ago because I basically just fucking forgot about it. And then I'm like, oh, yeah, that did happen this week. That was wild. So, this what happened. Mm-hmm. A fan, an XOL went to a fan sign and she talked to Bacon. Y'all know who I'm talking about. His name is Bacon. 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 I love EXO. He's thick bacon. <laughs> maple. He's thick. What's up? Brown sugar and maple. Oh, bacon. that shit is so good. What's y'all's favorite? Y'all eat meat. Which Shout meat? out to my non meat oh. eaters out there. Y'all are in there. Um, so she went and talked to him and she talked about how she um has depression. Mm-hmm. And I still am like, so she recorded this. I didn't know that you could be in somebody's face like that recording, but maybe it's because it wasn't a video recording Mm -hmm. or maybe she fucking broke the rules and like didn't give a fuck. Yeah. I don't know. I know they can take up phones up there sometimes. Yeah. They let you take your phones up there. Okay. Um, From what I've seen like with BTS, them taking selfies on people's phones. I do remember that. Um, So his response, wait, I don't want to say that yet. So she had the recording of what he said and she posted it online. Mm-hmm. And she talked about how, um, how ha- how it made her happy, mm-hmm. um, how you made her feel better, blah, blah, blah. Somebody, some, like, internet person took that clip and, wait, okay, I'm just gonna keep going. Mm-hmm. Somebody took that clip and cut it to make it seem kind of malicious, um, and then posted that around. Now, as it was... What he said was already questionable, and people were upset about it. Um, But between the original and the cut-up one, um, Korean Korean people wasn't fan. I don't Mm -hmm. think it was fandom based. It was just Koreans started trending a hashtag asking him to apologize because they were upset with what he said. one of the things he said was that he didn't understand, he didn't understand depression, like he didn't get it. Mm-hmm. Um, which, I get, on the one hand, I guess I understand that, like, if you've never been depressed, you're obviously not going to get it. Mm-hmm. But um, taken another way, it could be like he, like, doesn't believe yeah. in it or whatever. Um, and then in another part of the conversation, he talked about, one of the things he said to her was that she should stop taking her medication which is like, you're not a doctor, but yeah, okay. Yeah, you shouldn't be. T- okay. Oh. But moving on from that. So it was already tw- uh, trending in Korea. Mm-hmm. And then an account that is an army retweeted it. But the one that she retweeted was the one that was already cut up. She didn't know that it was cut. Mm-hmm. It was just like, damn, here's this thing. Retweet. Mm-hmm. Somebody else, another army translated that cut thing also not Mm -hmm. knowing that it was not the full thing so from there the international community was like what the fuck these armies spin words that's not what happened blah 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 but it's not like she knew and then a lot of um armies were also giving shit because apparently (laughs) people thought that uh not only were did they maliciously do it but they're the reason why Bacon had to apologize because mm-hmm. it's their because it's Army's fault that it was trending and everything and why all these people know about it. Mm-hmm. But that's just smack not true. It was already trending in Korea. I don't understand why people like I don't know want to believe the narrative. I guess it's just a fucking witch hunt. Mm-hmm. But so that's what happened. I want to talk about it because I saw a lot of people on my timeline that were caught up in it in the in the upsetness in the in the bad energy mm-hmm. of what was going on without knowing the full story because you only see what you fucking see Mm -hmm. or what the people are talking about and they weren't talking about the truth so that's what happened Mm -hmm. um thoughts on what on what bacon said i mean he's not a doctor again so i don't think he really has any Any right to tell somebody to go off their medication right and kyra and i talked about um in what mindset would he have been in to, to try to give advice like that. And we said that either he just, uh, what do we say? That he 
either. No, like if he was like worried about the uh, the effects of the medication, mm-hmm. which like even if you when you watch the commercials for medication, they'll tell tell you that sometimes you have like an increased suicidal thoughts. Sometimes it'll give you the energy to actually want to act on those thoughts, or they'll kind of like make you feel like a shell. And mm-hmm. I, that's and that part is mostly coming from people who we know who have been on depression like medication yeah. who have felt that it's made them feel as if they were sh- like a shell of a person. So, or I know people that have taken antidepressants and have felt like kind of like definitely energetic, mm-hmm. but not in a not necessarily mm-hmm. in a positive way, like yeah. in a manic way. Mm-hmm. Um, and that's the only, like, that's literally the only way I can see somebody saying that. But even then, don't go off your medication unless you're like, I mean, you know what I'm saying? Like, don't, you should have said, go talk to your doctor. Because you don't, first off, you don't understand depression. If you never, like you've said, you don't understand, you've never really felt it before. So for you to give somebody advice who's like going through it to go off their medication, I think it's, it's wasn't a smart idea. Right. No matter, like, even though he was like trying, I think he could have not have mentioned that at all. Right. And I'm not, I don't, I don't feel negative to, negatively towards him. I'm not like mm-hmm. bragging on him. Yeah. I know that when he spoke to the girl, he had good intentions mm-hmm. and the girl wasn't upset by what he said. Yeah. She felt comforted by what he said. She and, posted it probably trying to give other people like hope or like let them know that Or to be like, like this yeah. is a sweet thing that yeah. happened. Mm-hmm. Um, And it sucks that it blew up into this huge thing because now this sweet moment to her has such mm-hmm. has like made such a big wave of negativity. Mm-hmm. Um but yeah, that's the haps. That's what happened. That's what going down in the DMs. Go down in the DMs. It go down. It go down. Okay. All right. Well that's the way the news went. That's the way the news went. Oh was it don't forget to like <laughs> no but don't forget to like, comment, subscribe if y'all want. Hit that description box button below. Box button. And, like, see everybody's social medias. Go follow it. Um, Yeah. Taylor, you want to go into your music recs? Oh, shit. You have my paper. Yes, I do. Because I wrote you a question on here. And it's really funny. But you have to read that at the end. Go on. At the end of what? Just everything. At the very end of the podcast. If you want to, you can read it now. But don't read it out loud. Go on. Okay. My my recommendations are the Amber and Luna song called Lower. So yes. lower, isn't it? Yes, it's really good. Yeah. It's very gay. It has a very g- strong gay vibe. Um, next we've got Planetarium Records with a song called Blah. That's a fun name. It is. Uh Sunday Moon with a song called Million Miles. <gasps> That's a beautiful name. We got ooh, I'm about to have to hit you up with this Hangul. Yeah. We got Moon Sea with Sebya Sebyaki Chun Chun Chun. Sebyaki Chun Chun Chun. Yeah. Don't know what the Romanized I sure don't. Is, but... <laughs> it was not there. Um, and we got Joshan, Park Chun Jin, and Achilo with OGZ. Mm-hmm. Um, have you seen that video? Mm-mm. It's them little boys. They're like 13. And they no, I haven't seen them, but they're so cute. Mm-hmm. And then I have Park So Un with Diary. Okay. And everything else. Eventually, check our second channel. One It'll day. be in a playlist. <laughs> And that's all. That's the way the racks go. (laughs) Next up, we've got the (laughs) comment section. (laughs) Next up, we've got the comment section. (laughs) I just read the question that Kyra wrote me. It's stupid. It's really dumb. Like, y'all really don't want to hear it. It's ridiculous. Comment section. Y'all know what this is. Dingle, dingle, dingle. First off, we're going to go with Creamy Prince Tay. I'm here, I'm queer, and I have a sugar addiction. Hey, Lemon Masters, how you doing? Lemon Masters? <laughs> We're hey. going up in the world. <laughs> right, look. Um, I have to say, I spent the last couple of weeks blasting the hits from all genres. What games are you guys playing into 2018, or games do you plan on playing this year? The Void oddly reminds me of Skyrim when you be shouting at the port and say, guards to get out the way with the Noni <laughs> having long leg nosy want. <laughs> Wait. Oh, that's so funny. No knee having long legged nosy won't let a creamy lizard prince rob them looking so. <laughs> that's <laughs> accurate. <laughs> um, the guards are an issue I have with Skyrim. I honestly don't get why they want him. Oh, I just don't get why they want him out since he just settled down and getting married. 
Also, JYP and that booty song came on while I was in the doctor's. So I got up. <laughs> Wait, so I got up, closed the door to my room, and well, you know how that <laughs> He shook that, bo- that booty booty. Shake that booty. <laughs> I found my birthday twin crush yesterday. And I don't know why I'm conflicted with why I uh, used to like him and his oddly nice nipples. I might just have a thing for nipples. I don't have a favorite meme, sadly. Uh, I think this is going to be my year since I'm giving up chocolate for half the year. Oh my God, you dropped the vitamins and the remote. <laughs> Things to work out to this year. Hobie's mixtape, TK3's hot remix, EXO, and card. I went out and took some photos today and they turned out okay. I'm thinking about getting a camera to take better shots. If you could photograph... Oh my God. You missed a question. I missed a question. You fucking bitch. <laughs> and this is a good question. Too. We're going to come back to every this question. Every time, I'd be like, Kyra, underline or like highlight the question. So we miss one every single time. You know time. what's so funny is that you literally were like, we're going to miss a question. And I was like, yeah, we are. And self-fulfilling prophecies. Watch what you say about yourself. Um, If you could photograph any group of artists, who would you shoot? We're going to come back to that. Uh, Dean, Namjoon, Suga, Zika, Woozy, Hoshi, and maybe Jin. Uh, we got a whole year for the limbs to fall off the tree. So I saw a picture of Jimin and he is so adorable. I mean, that's a grown ass man, but oh, so cute. Do you remember that clay animation of Rudolph the rain door <laughs> with the dude who controlled the heat wave and things while another dude controlled snow? Did you hear about Dr. Fillabag? <laughs> My friend Aaron dated this dude, but we never call him by his name. So we call him Jack and the Beanstalk or Jeremiah. Sugar needs y'all to put a bandage on that boo boo booty. Shake that boot, that booty. Did you booty. see that? Hmm. His Do you little, know about that? His little heart. Yeah, his little butt. Didn't he fall? He fell out of the chair, and he was complaining. He's such an old he man. He was whining. He's literally such an old man. He's a baby. I love him. Um, he's not my bias though. Um, <laughs> not today. But anyway. not today. <laughs> uh, my ears are killing me since just finished blasting music, so I'll be looking for a victim. I mean, a boo thing to have some expensive girl times with. Make sure to stay warm and healthy because it's cold as possible lately. Uh, first combat this year. Be ready for more from your creamy prince Tay. Thank you so much. Um, yeah, it's fucking cold. The other day it was like eight fucking degrees. I was like, this is doo doo. This is ugly. This is dead. The other morning when I left for North Carolina, oh fuck, for Georgia, I was like, bitch, what's the weather at my phone? Mm-hmm. And it was like, it feels like negative four. I was like, hold up, I gotta stay. That's in dumb. House. That's that's literally so ridiculous. <laughs> I gotta stay in the house. Like, why would you do that, Mother Nature? Like, that's just ridiculous. Like, you know me, girl. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, what games are you playing in 2018 or games you plan on playing this year i said the game of life taylor liked that so that's the game i'm playing and i'm gonna win bitch <laughs> i am i think we should all plan to win this year um taylor does know the claymation what is it called taylor it's the year without santa claus don't ask me what else happens in that movie some little bitch is singing about a blue christmas and she's sad but then the heat miser and the snow miser come through and with the with the lit songs and that's all that matters that's really i don't know anything else that happens before or after that shit that's I think there's like orphans. I think that's why they're sad. That sounds like a Christmas Or maybe it's just because yeah. Christmas, I mean, because Santa ain't there. They're sad orphans. That sounds real That Christmas-y. does sound real Christmas. <laughs> um, did you hear about Fillabag? No. no. We what? have no idea what that is. <laughs> we tried to Google it and we couldn't. We got we Dr. Got Phil. <laughs> some girl kidnapped or something. Um, okay, thank you though. We're going to come back to your question later. I'm going to let Taylor think about that one. What is it? Uh, who would, what? group of or artists would you want to shoot like photograph parchment next okay <laughs> i think it's awesome that you're getting into photography too i'm super photography i gotta stop faking on it but like it really really interests me i like cinematography you know i might drop my camera looking at just you, drop it oh <laughs> i was like i thought you were saying you just might drop it i was like yeah you would and you would just be like, I would oh, be like, no. my hands would be shaking the whole time. He'd be like, are you okay? And then you'd like, step no, on it. <laughs> you step on an accident. Oh, God. Uh, next one is Jupiter Junebug Jones. Splitting those landmines. I thought my headphones were broken because of the echo. I was tripping the fuck out. They are, LMAO. Or when you use headphones, it echoes. I think it's a Christian thing, too. My grandmama, by the way, I think that's so cute that you call her grandmama. Grandmama. Well, it's a typo. I like grandmama. Okay. <laughs> My grandmama church does that too. A Canadian thing to say will be a because <laughs> I want jokes about Canadian. It's not <laughs> like that. I know. <laughs> How does it go? Is it a? <laughs> Is that how it goes? I forget. I haven't heard a Canadian speak in a long time. Ask Kib. Hey, hey, Robbie Rock. <laughs> 
<laughs> how does how does fucking eight? Y'all watch Sugar Pine Seven? They're a mess. They are a mess. Canadians Help be them. saying a after everything. <laughs> You deserve all the ones are all the fun. Yes. <laughs> I feel like body pillows wouldn't be sexual or anything like that, but it just depends on how you look at it. I'd marry a D-Dragon body pillow in a heartbeat. I love hot chocolate more than I like chocolate milk. When I read that, Taylor was like, what? <laughs> I was upset. Oh, I'll Taylor be honest, loves milk. I was upset. Taylor loves milk. But not okay. hot milk, bitch. <laughs> the gear jelly one is good, as well as the Godiva. I Godiva. got an iced coffee Gold. last night. It was cold as fuck, but it was delicious. <laughs> <laughs> You're right. You always do get cold shit, even if it's cold outside. Iced coffee. Fucking go, Diva. One. Random question. How's life going? Oh, everything's peachy keen, Padres. Uh, you want to start singing? You know Kyra's about to fuck it up with the sad puppy commercial. <laughs> You're right. Um. The, in the arms of the angel. <laughs> Random question: Did you listen? Did you listen to Bursters? They're kind of like rock esque. I don't know if it's your scene, but there's good. But they is good. YG can literally catch these hands. Nothing for certain. <laughs> um, <laughs> my favorite meme was a SpongeBob one of the one guy blinking. He needs to stop. He needs to work on comebacks and shit. It's um, it's a sign that Hobie's mixtape is going to come out on one ten. Yo. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Why does everybody keep saying 110? That's like tomorrow. Yeah, that's why I'm like, that's literally why I'm like, please. Well, listen, if it comes out tomorrow, this podcast will be posted tomorrow. Let you know, I hate you. <laughs> you jinxed it. I'm going to be Miss Cleo. <laughs> what? I'm going to be talking about numbers. Give me a date. I'll tell you what's going to go down. <laughs> but yeah, you would have jinxed it. I'm sorry. Um, We just going to wait and see. My bad for my long ass comments. LMAO, don't ever ever apologize for a long oh comment <laughs> that part is horrifying <laughs> i can't watch it without realizing how scared it used to make me i'm not a movie goer but i'll leave the house for black panther <laughs> i am groot i am crushed <laughs> guardians of the galaxy jungkook is a soft pillow baby saints row him. i love him i know you do <laughs> i don't saints row 3 was pretty good too but i think i like the storyline from 2 better um i was thinking the same thing about the boy boy's career as well people are constantly falling off or hopping on little lemon the third out no oh, we had questions good question did you listen to bursters we did we did listen to Brussels they go Sprouts. off i love me some brussels Hello, Brussels. <laughs> Them niggas is good. It it's goes definitely off. rock. Yeah. Um, I said that my my high school heart was singing. Yeah. With the screaming and shit. It was everything. Um, I didn't find. It. I tried to look them up to find out the members, but there's like no information on them. How's life going so far? We're here. Um, we're here. Gave yours to it. Um, <laughs> what else was there? I think that was it. Um, yeah. Uh, yes. Okay. Yeah, life's all right. Cold, but it's all right. And then we have my heart. MV heart. I'm sorry. MV heart. <clears throat> First time commenting. Well, would you look at that? Finally got caught up on the podcast. It took about a month, but I did it. I first discovered you during your BTS comeback stage reaction, and you all have me rolling. DMV shout out. Hey, what up, Mo? Hey. <laughs> <laughs> you ja got me hot. Oh, my God. Yesterday, I was talking to my friend Cherise, and she was talking about how she used to live in D.C., and she was like... She said something, something, something jai. And I was like, DMV, bitch, we in there. Uh, what's your favorite, like, slang from your area? Do y'all have, everybody has different slang. That's one of my favorite ones. Mo was one of my favorite ones. I fucking love Mo. It's so funny. Um, I love Mo. Who is he? Who is she? <laughs> um, I'm not from MD originally, but since I've been here for nearly 17 years, I think I'm good into the crab cakes. <laughs> if you guys go to BlurredCon this year, maybe we'll see each other. I really want to go to BlurredCon. Yeah. I wanted to go last year, but here we are. I really want to go to cons this year. I really, really hope we can go. I want to go to concerts. I want to go to cons. I'm trying to I just want to do game. shit. Yeah. Like, I'm ready. I'm ready for my life, you know? don't. I don't want to turn this to a sermon, but I'm ready to live my life. I'm ready to play the game of life. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Um, let me see. You said I'm fairly new to K-pop. Discovered the BTS Abyss last August. Still trying to climb my way back out into the light, but not really. It'll never happen. It won't. You're, um, done. You're done for. Anyway, I found your podcast extremely helpful and informative, especially the Rex, as I try to expand my interest beyond the big groups. Going back a couple of podcasts when you were talking about Big Bang and listing, I often wonder what will happen when the Bangtan boys finally have to serve. 
I'm old enough to be even Jin's mother, and I can't help but think of them as my kids. I worry about them. Is that weird? It's not weird at all, trust me. <laughs> not for Taylor. Taylor went from Jungkook being... Fun Look, we don't talk about we don't talk about we're good, we're good, we're good, we're good. As an aside, I was in the, in the BT Twenty One line opening day, but froze for nothing. I didn't even get close before they ran out of merch. I'll have to try again now that the craziness has decreased a bit. Spent the rest of my day in Koreatown eating and by buying facial products and BTS crap. Did you know Nature Republic sponsors EXO? It was so weird seeing life-size standees of Chang Yeol and Jumin outside the store. LOL. Regarding girl groups, I have a lot of trouble getting into the overly cutesy concepts and the helium voices, which is why I prefer Blackpink and Red Velvet's Peekaboo. Having gone back and listened to 21 and Miss A, etc., I'm really sad that I miss them. I hope we'll get female groups with more mature concepts for older women like myself. Last but not least, did you guys follow BTS Outcast last weekend? Or at least those of you with the Twitter. Haha. A 15 year old brought hundreds of thousands of ARMY together with the power of her love for BTS and creativity. Amazing. Sorry for the ridiculously long comment. Keep splitting those land months and Happy New Year. Happy New Year, first off. Welcome, li Mama Lemon, Lil Lemon. Um, thank you for commenting. Welcome to your first comment. Um, it's not weird. I don't think it's weird thinking of, um, BTS is your kids at all. Um, we didn't know that Nature Republic sponsored EXO. Taylor mentioned it when you went to New York. He said something about them, right? I don't even think I I saw the Nature Republic store. Like, mm. by the time we got to Koreatown, it was late, and most of the stores were closing. Oh. Um, I think that's awesome, though. Like, get your phone and sponsored EXO. I know that's right, honey. And then you said, did you follow the BTS outcast? I wish, I'm going to find some girl groups for you that she might be interested in that yeah, are like, I forgot um, to think about that too. Um, that are a little more mature sounds. I know there's a group that I just got into and I've seen some, most of their, um, uh, promo songs are really, really good. And they're not too cute. What's that one song by, um, oh fuck, Ladies Code. Uh, I like the rain by them. Galaxy? Yes. Galaxy is Galaxy really, really good. Galaxy by Ladies Code is great. You'll probably mm -hmm. really like that. Yeah. Um, What is a girl group? I just got into them. Um, Sonamu. Sonamu has a lot of really good songs. I didn't I realize... I did like Sonamu's last yeah. album. I didn't realize that a lot of their older songs I had already known. So mm. when I heard them, I was like, like Deja Vu, I didn't know I knew that song. And mm. I was like, what the fuck? They really were... And Cushion. I didn't know that was them. Mm. But yeah. I that song. But you'll I'll probably also you. like like Wonder Girls, mm -hmm. um, especially later Wonder Girls. Yeah. Oh my god. Um, Reboot album, literally, literally, is so good, so good. But we'll find you some really good recommendations, and we'll um, we'll have them for you next week. Hopefully, if we can remember. Or we'll or we'll respond to your comment mm -hmm. on YouTube. So Taylor, BTS Outcast. Taylor has a lot of thoughts. All right, so yes, I did read Outcast. I was, I think, I jumped in when it was already on day two. Mm -hmm. Um, so like overall, I really like it. I like the concept of it, mm -hmm. like the interaction part. I really have some weird thing about like horror suspense mm -hmm. things, even though I hate horror movies, like, mm -hmm. but I'll watch horror anime, yeah. I'll watch horror games, I'm horror stories. That. I'm into it. Um, and I really enjoyed that it was something that our whole fandom was a part of. It was really nice. And it was like, for once in 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 this timeline, armies were <laughs> right, all okay. minding their own fucking business for the most part. And it was just really great. Uh, it was really fun. Every time I went on fucking Twitter, like everybody, even people that weren't aren't even armies yeah. were all like, yo, I'm in this shit. I, I remember seeing a bunch of people like, oh my God, are them boys really killing each other. <laughs> They was like, that's what y'all K-pop niggas do? Like, no. Oh, it was cute. Um, but by the time I got to the end, I was just fucking mad. Like, it's not that there was just too many unanswered questions for me. Mm -hmm. And if I don't think about it, like, if I don't think about it, mm -hmm. I'm like, all right, I guess it ended good. Like, that that was fun. Mm -hmm. That that was a long-ass, good-ass ride. Mm -hmm. Thanks, Mark. Um... <laughs> But if I really That's think all about it, like that really changes the world. Go on. Right. But if I really think about it, it makes me mad because I'm like, why? Like, I don't understand a lot of the, or I should say a lot of the character, um, a lot of what drove the characters didn't make sense to me, or I guess like wasn't realistic. Mm -hmm. Like, 
I guess skip forward some if you don't if you don't want spoilers, but the fact that Taehyung was so fixated on Yoongi and Yoongi wasn't even the person that created the game. He wasn't even the reason why Taehyung was stuck in the game per se. Why was he so obsessed with with like him specifically? You know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? Like that shit was weird to me. It didn't make sense. And she answers questions or she answered a bunch of questions like after every night. And then mm-hmm. now that it's over and her explanation was like, it was dumb. It was like, um, because Yoongi got out of the house before him or some shit. It was like, that's not his fucking fault. Like he was being controlled. Like mm-hmm. he left the fucking house. And then she, and then somebody else was like, Namjoon tried, or maybe she said it, that Namjoon tried to help him get out, mm-hmm. but he couldn't do anything. But it was just like, he, what the fuck? Like, that was stupid. And then another part that made me mad was I was trying to figure out how were they, were they actually in a house or were they in a game? Like, how did that work out? Mm-hmm. And she was like, I've been thinking about it, but I decided to let the readers decide. And I was like, no, I don't want to fucking decide myself. That reminds like, me of the Rampa ending. Yes. That's exactly what it reminded me of. It reminded me of Rampa V3. And I was just like, I'm done. Like, I don't want to talk about this anymore. Jaleesa was like, I'm unfollowing her. Like, I'm mad. <laughs> like, I was just, I was just upset by the end of it. It was still really well done. She's only it's like the fifteen. She's only yes, 15. for fifteen. Like she, that's amazing. Yes, she accomplished a lot, and I think that she did really well with, um, I guess tying enough of the ends together that it made sense. But for me, it wasn't enough. Like I'm mm-hmm. like, bitch, what does that mean? And then like, ugh, it it was just a lot. I liked it, but I also didn't like it. When I first started it, I was really pressed. I talked to I was telling Kyra that like that's the type of thing that really inspires me Mm -hmm. and like motivates me because I, it's something that brings me joy. Mm -hmm. Um, seeing, I don't know, seeing things executed like that. Um, and I was like, damn, I want to do something like this. I like, like this sort Mm -hmm. of thing so much. Like I should do that. But then by the end, I'm like, I can't fucking do that. Like, (laughs) ain't no way. Ain't nobody gonna be in my DMs talking about what this means. I I don't know. Get out my DMs, bitch. I wish I knew. (laughs) Got me stressed out. I can't. So, yeah, that's that. Kyra, you read, like, a day or two of it? I did. I read the... I don't remember where I stopped. I think it was... The last thing I read was that... Hobie was asking for help. No, no. Yoongi asked for help, and Hobie was like, nah, bitch. And then Hobie kept asking for help. And then he was like, you ignore me! That was last yeah, I remember. Yeah. yeah. It was just, like... At face value, it was very good. But if you, like, really think about mm-hmm. it, it'd be like, that doesn't make sense. Mm-hmm. What do you mean? I want, And there oh was no, like, clarification. Like, there was no click moment. Like, mm-hmm. oh, I get it. It was just like, okay, mm-hmm. like, I guess. If you reach, it's not exactly like a Michael Jordan and Space Jam mm-hmm. reach, but it was like, you pull your arm out of your socket a little <laughs> bit. <laughs> I'm, my thing with that is because she's just 15, can you imagine what she's going to be, like, in a couple years' time? It's going to be ridiculous. So, for sure, and I've already like because of like the scale of it, I've already seen her get hate for things, and that really sucks. Mm-hmm. And I hope it doesn't deter her from wanting to write again. And I know there are also people that are she asking, did it just for fun. Like that's the biggest thing. Mm-hmm. She's not being paid or anything. She did it because she loves BTS, right? And um, I also see people asking her for like a sequel and stuff. Mm-hmm. Which, also another thing I saw while she was writing it, somebody was like, what takes you so long? And she was like, I'm literally writing it, Mm -hmm. like, right now. Like, when I say that it's going to be updated starting at 6 o'clock, at 6 o'clock, I start making these fucking text Mm -hmm. posts and post them. I was like, y'all can't wait 10 minutes between the shits. Like, calm the fuck down. she's a 15-year-old. She got school Like, it was just dumb. She got a bad time, possibly. (laughs) (laughs) But, um, from following a lot of writers on Twitter... Apparently, this is something that I would think about because to me, if somebody was like, damn, that was really good. Are you thinking about doing a sequel? I would think that was a compliment. Like, Mm -hmm. damn, you liked it so much that you want to see more. But apparently there are people who feel like, who take it like, this isn't enough for you. Mm -hmm. And I hope that she doesn't feel that way either Mm -hmm. um, when people are asking her if she's going to, if she's going to write a sequel or what she's going to do next or blah, blah, blah. I, I really, I. I don't know. I would have thought that was a compliment. Like, I would too, but there one, are people that yeah. it makes them anxious mm-hmm. and it makes them feel like it's not good enough or what they the way they mm-hmm. ended it wasn't good enough. Uh, I really hope 
I hope that's how she feels because I would love to see her like in a couple years time if she's still like super into BTS if she could redo it or like she, I don't know I hmm, I think she did a great job I didn't even finish it I think she did a great job so yeah that's Taylor's answer I told y'all Taylor got opinions Taylor just did like a little shimmy shake little 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 shimmy oh there goes the shoulder <laughs> um I guess that's about it yeah that's the in the comments. You got to say who you want to take a picture of. Oh, Taehyung. Oh, my God. I want to work on an art project with Taehyung. You That's know what? Now that we're talking about it, let's just go ahead and get a V-Man photo shoot. <laughs> um, yep. I want Taehyung, like, literally, like, I've always, for, like, the longest. Very suggestive. I, don't give me the camera. Don't let me in the room. <laughs> I think that he has a really great eye for space. I like his use of um, light and shadow. I think he's a really great photographer. I would want to collaborate with him on something. Like, I would want to see him working behind the camera. I think that would be really fun. But that's just me. That's just me. Um, I think I also... Hmm. I don't know. I want to get some female artists in there. Oh, my God. I want to photograph Sunmi. Oh, my God. I would love that so much. And the Wonder Girls. But Sunmi... so gay. Well, I have nothing to tell you, friends. <laughs> but yeah, I would love to photograph Sunny. I think that would be awesome. Oh my God, and Hani. Okay, exit as a whole, maybe. EXID, I call him exit. But yeah. Exit. That's it. All right, that was nice. I think we just split some lemons, Taylor. Perhaps. You want to plug us real quick? Maybe so. <laughs> Stop <laughs> Uh, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and follow us on social media. That would be Twitter, Snapchat, and Instagram. Mm-hmm. Yes. But Kiana's the only one to be using it. Yeah. So follow Kiana on Instagram. <laughs> Wait, look, I'm gonna use it and one day. On Snapchat, because none of us really be using Snapchat. I use it sometimes. I use- Kayla be using it. She Kyra does, don't yeah. be using anything. She uses Twitter the most now, and she be talking about she don't use Twitter. I, I use Tumblr.com the most. But I'm trying to, like, when it's, like... When I, I don't even think face. you put your fucking no, Tumblr up there. See, <laughs> you, like, yes, because I feel as if some people who I have people who like listen to us here or like watch our reactions that follow me. Oh, okay. Mm-hmm. Yup. <laughs> but that's mostly because like I don't if I'm not feeling cute and I don't really be doing that. And I'm like I'm not gonna go outside and take a picture of a leaf. What you gotta go outside for? I mean, like I don't, what I'm gonna take pictures of inside. I don't be doing stuff. Shoes. Here's my shoes. I'll be like, picture of shoes. Don't forget to believe in yourself. <laughs> <laughs> All right. That's about it. Love you guys. No. Oh. Kyra said. No. <laughs> what if a robot called you a nigga? <laughs> in binary code. In binary. Because <laughs> you were talking about zero one one. I was like, what if you just said like nigga? Like, wouldn't that be crazy? All right. That's. No. We have one more conversation to have. Oh, what? Uh, Whether we'd rather be hot or cold. Oh, um, what did we say? I said I'd rather be cold, because if you're cold, you can just put on more layers, but once you're hot, oh. you, can't, you can't take off your skin. And Kyra was like, take off a sk- your skin, you bitch. <laughs> <laughs> you weak-ass bitch. <laughs> oh, my God. Would, would I prefer to be hot or cold? I think I need to be, I'd rather prefer to be cool, I think. I don't even like, I don't like heat. I, I mean, I don't mind being warm, but like being cool. Like I'm like, cool. I'm miserable when I'm hot. Mm-hmm. I get sad. I want to cry if it's like too hot. I get cranky. Like, I'm like, don't. You don't. like, bitch. And they'll be like, what? It's just hot. But I like it when it's cold when I sleep. I sleep with a fan, even if it's like winter. My mom be like, it's cold. It'd be like 72 degrees in the house. I have like a fan on. She'd be like, what are you doing? I'd be like, I'm, I need to be cold while I sleep. It gives me, it helps me sleep, you know? Yeah, but sometimes it's like it can be a bad thing for me because like you know it's really cold in my workplace, mm-hmm. so I get tired. So you be going to sleep at work backwards. <laughs> like I need to be cold to sleep, but if it's cold, I get sleepy. Mm-hmm. Yeah. What do y'all think? What's your opinion on the discourse? <laughs> Temperature discourse. <laughs> are you a heat miser? Or are you a, a snow bitch? <laughs> What's his name? A snow miser. A snow miser. <laughs> fuck. <laughs> All right, love you guys. Uh, my name is Shannon. I'm Gerald. Split lemon signing off. We just split some lemons. Crack, crack. Lemons don't make that noise when you split them, but it's I okay. I sure hope not. Oh my Can you god, crunchy Did, lemons. You ever heard of an anime called Diabolic Lovers? Mm-mm. It's a it's a fucking vampire harem anime. 
And when the bitches, when the niggas bite into this girl's neck, it crunched like an apple. And it Ew. makes me so mad. I'd be like, yo, I can't with this. Oh my God. Like, he time. would go to suck her blood and he'd be like, Ew. It would be so stupid. Let's get crunchy. Oh my God. One time, my mom tried to get us an anime because she saw she was at the uh, library and I told her I wanted to pick up some new animes. So she picked one up. But the library has a harem anime there. And I was like, what the fuck with is this? With titties? Yeah. Yikes. I was like, what are you friendly. doing? <laughs> she didn't know. She was like, oh my god, I'm so sorry. I was like, don't be sorry. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, that's just a little fun story. We like to have fun here. Okay, love you guys. Bye. 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 My news. News. How did that song that's go? What Tammy does. What's that Kim song again? You. Nobody like you, girl. Nobody like you. Yeah. Oh, no, yeah. <laughs> Nobody likes you. News.